What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. The moment all of you have been waiting for, all like 14 of you that have asked me, I'm finally gonna hit you guys with my sweater collection. If you guys didn't see my video where I was shopping for some of these hoodies, definitely go check that out. If you enjoyed this video, you're gonna enjoy that one. So that is all together $67.85 I've spent on this goddamn site. I wish I didn't know that. Basically, I was just online shopping and I bought a bunch of stuff that I did not need. Quick reminder to turn on my post notifications before I start this video. Also, before I start, I just wanna give a little disclaimer. This whole shit might just break down. The structural integrity of this clothing rack is less than great. I used to have a pretty decent clothing rack and then we moved to Toronto and if you guys know anything about Toronto you know that there's no space in any of these condos so I had to get rid of it. But I knew I was making this video so I had to hit up Amazon and get the cheapest one I could find. Just believe me when I tell you this thing is swaying in the wind. You guys can't see but there's actually a long island right behind this and it's leaning on that island. This is bad. This is bad. Every time I touch this I can feel it swaying. Alright starting from the left here we got this white raining champ hoodie. I got this hoodie when I was really trying to get on my cozy swag and that it is. It is so comfortable. Not gonna lie, there's nothing really special about this hoodie. Like when I got it, I was super amped about it. I wore it for like a week and a half and then I kind of just stopped wearing it. Also because I feel like this kind of hoodie is better for taller people and I'm not a taller guy. Just the way that it hangs. Also, I have a pretty big issue with wearing white because I twist up my hair myself and if I'm wearing white, it becomes a very big issue very fast. So that's why I only really have like two or three white sweaters. All right, next up, we got a Sweatshirt. Oh my, oh, I'm telling you, this thing's falling apart. Oh my god. So next up we have this Yeezy Season 4 Boxy Fit sweatshirt. Now this is a pretty loose fitting sweatshirt. I don't wear this too often for the same reason. It's white, that can't go on with me. Moving on, another banger that does not get enough love for me. The Mesa Margiela long sleeve sweater with the chest pocket. Don't forget the chest pocket. It's so itchy, like it's weirdly uncomfortable. You would think it has like a wool blend in it or something. I checked the tag for this one, it's 100% cotton. So I don't know why it feels so itchy and weird, but besides that, the quality of the sweater is amazing. And the the look of it is beautiful. I feel bad because I just started off the collection talking mad shit. And it sounds like I hate my own collection, but just don't worry. We'll get to the good ones. I told you guys, I don't wear the white stuff. And for when I'm feeling a little dapper, you know, dapper Deej, I got the Daniel Patrick cardigan. This thing is heat. Look at the sleeve. It has Daniel Patrick's signature line going down the middle of the back of the sweater. And it comes with these cool little pockets. Daniel Patrick has to be like my favorite brand right now. It's a competition between Yeezy and Daniel Patrick for me. If you guys check out their website, you'll know why. Just full of beautiful clothing. It's the kind of stuff that I would definitely wear. And the branding isn't too loud and in your face, which I love. And on some of their stuff, there's no branding. Like this cardigan and actually this sweater is also Daniel Patrick. No branding whatsoever. This sweater also has that signature line down the back. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's Daniel's vibe. All right, so, so far we hit you with the rainy chance. Yeezy, Margiela, Daniel Patrick. Not a bad collection so far. We're gonna keep it going though. This is the last one for the brown sweaters. Now this is a Yeezy hoodie. Like this looks exactly like what people imagine Yeezy hoodies to look like. Everything from the color scheme to how baggy it is and how much of a bum it actually makes you look like when you wear it. This hoodie is season three. So it's a little outdated. I think he's on season six at this point. I think the most recent Yeezy line I have might be season five and it's a pair of socks. See, here we go. We got another Yeezy sweater. I actually have a sweater collection video on my channel from like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, and I think like 75 to 80% of it is Zara. It was so embarrassing. Not embarrassing because it was Zara, just embarrassing because I had no diversity in my wardrobe. So I think this is actually my most recent Yeezy hoodie, but yo, you gotta love this gray. This thing is so hard. I think, is it Heather gray? More gray hoodies. Alright, so this one's definitely my favorite gray hoodie. This is the off-white oversized Nebraska hoodie, and this is a complete banger. On the top of the shoulders, you have white in black writing. You got some nice bunching on the sleeves as well as the waistline. This thing is a whole vibe, bro. I've been having trouble not sleeping in my off-white hoodie. Some people like to sleep naked. I'm not one of these people. I like to wear clothes when I sleep. I don't know what it is. And if you're like me, a hoodie like this is perfect to sleep in in the wintertime. I just cringe at the thought of how much I paid for it and the fact that I'm sleeping in it. But I mean, why did I buy it if I can't wear it whenever I want to wear it? Alright, next up, we got the first, like, must-have sweater in here. I know, I feel like everyone should own one of these. Just so that you can piss off the skaters who get so offended at people who wear these and don't skate. But seriously, no disrespect to the culture at all. Just cracking jokes. I do have this hoodie as well as two or three different Thrasher tees. And they're all pretty cool. You know, it's just a different style. Maybe this summer I'll learn how to kickflip just to keep you guys happy. All right, I'm sorry. But that's that Thrasher hoodie. I don't need to really review this. You guys know what a Thrasher hoodie is. I don't know what it is about the Thrasher hoodies, but they're super duper hot. Hotter than the Yeezy hoodies and the Off-White hoodies. And those hoodies are thicker. Oh, this hoodie right here. Beautiful and so problematic. This 
is my gray velour Daniel Patrick hoodie. And this sweater actually didn't even come with drawstrings, so that's just the look of it. I know they also make a black one that's the exact same. This I actually didn't even get online. I found this in store in Ottawa for like half the price they were selling it for online. Okay, we're like halfway done now. Last gray hoodie of the collection. This is just an exact replica of that brown boxy fit easy hoodie, except this one's just like a gray kind of charcoal. So this one's a season three ting, and this is the small that I was talking about. I don't know, if you raise your arms up, it just kind of raises. And the fact that the arms are long, but the body is kind of short, I don't know, that's why I like medium instead. I'm so surprised this thing hasn't fallen yet. Getting on to the black snap. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm definitely way more of a hoodie guy than I am a sweatshirt or sweater kind of guy. I don't know what it is. I just like there to be something that I can put on my head top if I need to. So things like this sweater, this sweater, the two white ones over there, I don't really wear them too often. But yeah, this is a black Raised by Wolves sweatshirt. Yo, when I saw this, it was an immediate cop. I think it was the lettering on the chest there that got me. I love the two different textures on the sweater and the little pocket on the chest. I don't even think, is it a real pocket? Yeah, it's a real pocket. But yeah, all those little details just stood out to me. Here's my issue though. I don't know, I just find it a little strange that Raised by Wolves has a higher price point than like Stussy, which is a way more established brand. But yo, I'm not even talking shit, yo. Because they're local, I love them off. And that's why I bought this sweater. And regardless if they make it to the level or not, you know, you just gotta support the locals. But damn! All right, the cheapest hoodie in my collection and the hoodie that still gets a lot of play somehow is this black Zara Essentials hoodie here. I love the fact that there's no strings and no holes. Love that. Also, the way this thing fits, Mm. But yeah, this is the kind of thing that I would exclusively get from Zara. This shit was probably like $39.99. Quality's amazing. Got it at least two years ago and it's still looking beautiful. This one is my favorite off-white hoodie. I only have two off-white hoodies, but look, this is my favorite one. So this is the black oversized off-white 1991 hoodie. This is why it's called the 1991 hoodie, V. Come on! You can't tell me that's not greasy. I was born in 1991. So this hoodie has a soft spot in my heart and Bongo's heart and David's heart. We all three have the goddamn hoodie, but it's so nice we had to. I'll give it to Dave though, he was the first. Same as the other off hoodie, cuffs, waistline, and it has seeing things on the bottom in a nice turquoise, and on the back, same, same thing. The next hoodie, it's not a disappointment because the sweater is actually beat. The sweater is beautiful, but how much I pay, this is my most expensive hoodie by far, and it's not even my top like four favorite. That's a problem, but it's just one of those pieces, you know, you just, you have to have something like this for those special moments in your life. Boom, we got the Saint Laurent hoodie. This hoodie fits beautifully. It is actually very comfortable. Definitely like a European kind of fit. I love the way the hood is attached to the sweater. Not gonna be able to see it, but it does say Saint Laurent Paris on the aglets. And then you got the Saint Laurent logo on the chest. It's a little bit lower than the chest, which is kind of cool. There's a tag there. Okay, we got another Daniel Patrick banger. This is the yellow Daniel Patrick oversized New York hoodie. So crisp, just says Daniel Patrick, New York, and some coordinates that I'm not sure where they lead to. Everything else about the hoodie is pretty standard. Again, Again, this one did not come with drawstrings, but it's a vibe. See the back of it, same thing. The back has one long seam line going down the middle. I just love the Daniel Patrick hoodies that have Daniel Patrick on the front, but the ones that say Los Angeles or Beverly Hills are always sold out. You can never get one. I go on the site like once every month or two just to see what's going on and they're never there. I was only able to get this one because it's yellow and nobody wants this color. This color and orange, I think, were the only two that were there. And they're the New York ones, which are easier to get usually. Also, you guys will rarely see me wear this hoodie because it's way too big for me. It's an oversized hoodie and I got a medium in it, so it's way too big. I wear medium and even sometimes large in some things, but if something is oversized, you have to go way down in size. And I just stuck with my regular size with this, so it looks so goofy on me. Oh yeah, by the way, those two off-white hoodies, those are both extra small and they fit kind of big on me. This is my second yellow hoodie. We got the Champion triple logo hoodie right here. Super thick. Before I bought this hoodie, I'd never actually seen the Champion logo like this, so I thought is pretty cool. I like how the drawstrings are kind of frayed there and you can kind of tell by the hood but yo this is a really really heavy sweater. It's got champion on the sleeve there. I have three champion hoodies and this is my most recent cop. Second champion hoodie here. This one actually has the standard champion logo on the chest otherwise it's the same as the other hoodie. But yeah this hoodie with a jeans jacket. Oh I do have another champion hoodie. I need to go get it. Hold on. It's the exact same as that peach one over there. This hoodie also goes super, super hard. Another pretty classy Daniel Patrick piece here. I forget what this one was called because they all have names. I think this one was called the Hero Sweat. There's the tag right there. Once again, the signature down the back and this same texture is on the sleeve, just like that cardigan. The bottom of this sweater though, I love it. It's one of these vibes. The back is a little bit longer. You got to cut down the side. A vibe. This one also has that same type of vibe. I think I've worn this sweater maybe 
three times. And last but definitely not least, we got the Fuchsia Supreme Crew Neck Tee. Why did I say tee? It's a sweatshirt, crew neck sweatshirt. So it's kind of faint, but when you come a little close, you can see the Supreme stitched in there. Kind of an interesting way of stitching it. See the tag there? I've definitely used this sweater quite a bit and washed it and dried it so many times. So there's a little bit of fading around the collar, but yo, that's all good. This sweater was great for Cali when I was out there. It is hot, but sometimes it's like you can kind of wear a sweater, but not something too heavy. So this was perfect. I actually bought this while I was in LA and I got it from a place on Fairfax. Wow, are we done? Is that, is that it? So those are all my sweaters. I think that's about 20 of them. Notifications, post notifications, turn them on if they're not. And I hope you guys are keeping up with the grind. To help you keep up with the grind, you gotta keep those notifications on. I just, I don't want you guys to fall behind. I come to my channel and see like 80 videos that you need to catch up on. If you're new to the channel and you liked this video, then subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and until next time guys, don't sleep fam.